Okay, we're going to try a ballad because I think yeah. it's going to really explore the range of your voice that yep. I don't think you're that happy with. In terms of your vocal comfort, you're much happier in the mid-range of your voice. It's a classic female thing to be doing, but we need to look at how to get your voice lower with the same kind of vocal clarity and also yeah. higher. So <clears> I think probably in, in time we'll look at how to do cover notes, which is how to push your chest voice up into your head voice and make it sound like it's a powerful note, but in fact it's not. It's just a sort of shadow of itself. But let's look at the, the low part of the song first. We're going to yeah. do Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen, because you're quite happy with that. Yeah. Uh, but let's just look at the first four bars, really, four to eight bars, and just look at how you approach that in terms of making the audience think, OK, I know the chorus is coming, most people know the song, but you've got to tie them in in a way that they think, OK, I haven't heard this song before, because it is a classic, and they will have heard many versions, so let's, yeah. just, let's just think of a way of using your unique voice to get into the song. Right. OK, but just maybe eight bars to say, oh, we'll see, no. listening to someone else's voice in your head that in fact you are delivering that in your own voice and I love the authenticity of it and as I said to you last week I think you've got a lovely R&B timbre to it it's really beautiful in <coughs> places where you where you run out of confidence is at the end of all the difficult bits and it's, it's just a simple climb down it's, it's yeah. a really simple climb down but what you're not doing is accessing enough breath in order to make that work for you yeah uh, and I can see you suddenly thinking, OK, I'm not happy about this note, it's not in my comfort zone, and the shoulders come up, and your hands, you start mm -hmm. clenching your fists like this, uh, and of course that leads to, to tension. This nerve here, this one, yeah, yeah. The, the ulnar nerve links up to the jaw, and as soon as you tense your thumb, your jaw is tensed as mm -hmm. well. So there's a connection there. So physiologically your body is saying, I'm tense, and you can't get the note. So let's just look, look at that climb down at the end. Can you possibly give us a, <coughs> a maybe a chord on the piano? Yeah, yeah. So we can just do that acoustically. So it's in C. Yeah. <laughs> Now this is an unusual occasion when you reach a low note where you're going to have to let your jaw go. Because what you want to try to do is to create some around, space yeah. at the back of your throat. Yeah. So what I want you to do now is just yawn. Just have a yawn, okay? Just relax your arms. Have a yawn. Take it, and what do you notice about what's happening in the back of your throat? It opens. Good, and that's what we need to get for these low notes. If you don't do that, you're going to get and you're not going to be able to get it, and you're going to go off pitch, and also you're not going to have any clarity to that, no vocal resonance. So you need to overwork the man. So this sounds forward, forwards, backwards. Okay, so. <clears throat> You want to think about your lips and channeling that nice boo sound, ooh, and then ooh, ah, as if you're yawning. Okay, so just just practice that with me. Do 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 ya. Okay, that should no no. <coughs> Hallelujah. You're, you're, you're long. Yeah. Uh, do. It's a lot lower than you think. Ooh, make it make your lips much more tunnel like. Uh, let's just try that phrase again. Can you give us a start of that? Do you... 